Qatar denies, quote, inaccurate reports on its alleged role to transport grain to Africa. A top Sudanese delegation wraps up its visit to Qatar. Stick around for a rundown of the trip. Qatar rules out discounts on phone usage fines as it cracks down on reckless driving. And in sports, Qatar is ready to host the FIBA Under-16 Asian Championship this month. Hi, it's Fatma and you're watching The Roundup. Here are today's top stories from Qatar. Qatar's Ministry of Foreign Affairs has confirmed Doha has no role in a reported deal to transport grain to Africa. In a press briefing on Tuesday, Qatar Foreign Ministry spokesman Majid Al-Ansari rejected the inaccurate reports and said Qatar supports the renewal of the existing Black Sea grain deal. The comments came after reports that Russian President Vladimir Putin was ready to collaborate with Qatar and Turkey on this initiative. The Sudanese Forces of Freedom and Change delegation concluded its visit to Qatar on Monday. The group was in Qatar for a six-day trip as part of international efforts seeking an end to the conflict in Sudan. An official statement by the delegation said Qatari authorities confirmed it is prepared to contribute to the reconstruction of Sudan following the end of the war. Thousands have been killed and millions more displaced since the war broke out in April. And now, drivers fined for using mobile phones while behind the wheel will not be provided a half-price discount to pay for the violation. Speaking to Qatar Radio, a Qatari official confirmed the fine will stand at a one-time payment of 500 Qatari rials with no discounts given for early payments, as is the case with other violations. The official warned an alarming 50 to 60 percent of traffic accidents occurred due to mobile phone usage and lack of seatbelt compliance. Despite the strict ruling on phones, the official said a 50 percent reduction would be applicable on penalties for not wearing a seatbelt, provided the fine is settled within 30 days. And finally, host Qatar is set to kick off their participation in the FIBA Under-16 Asian Championship along with teams from Group B, which includes Saudi Arabia, Japan, and Iran. al Annabi Juniors will launch their campaign against Saudi Arabia in their opening encounter on September 17th. All of their group matches will take place at Al Rafa in Door Hall. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co, and make sure to download our app for your daily updates.